Hey, what's going on? This is Caster Troy from vidthrough.com, and this episode is my first episode of Making Bacon, a new series that I'm coming out with, with me just kind of tearing up some people and some multiplayer, and maybe talking about the gameplay a little bit, maybe talk about some, some tips and stuff, or maybe just talking about, or letting you enjoy the gameplay, see some ownage. So, topics I'm going to cover in this episode of Making Bacon is uh what is making bacon and go in a little more depth for that and let you know what's going on what my plans for that series are and i'm gonna go on to uh movement on big maps versus little maps in this game you're gonna be handling your movement a little differently on each different map i'm also going to cover use of the acr versus the m4 assault rifles and finally i'm going to talk about my thoughts on uh, which vehicle choices to spend your battle points on, like whether or not to spend it on a tank or a helicopter. So, first up is making bacon. So this was like an idea I came up with from uh, good old Duke Nukem. I just love that guy and uh, a lot of his quotes are just uh, all time favorites of mine. So something like where whenever I have a good game where I just kind of tear people up, I kind of go with the whole making bacon theme. Just the, the gameplay is more focused on this uh, in these videos instead of more of the tips and tricks like I normally do. I just kind of want you to see like my game style and how I, I don't camp or I don't do like that. But you can still uh, have really high kill death ratios, have a lot of fun, and still uh, show teams that you're not afraid of them. You know this game style works. You don't have to camp to have good numbers. So. Um, I hope you enjoy this series. I think it's going to be one of my favorite to make because it's just it's a good gameplay and fun and not so serious and stuff like that. You get to see some awesome wrecking of people. So the second thing I was going to talk about was movement on a big map versus a little map. And this game is really cool for the fact that the variety of them is really good. And you can take a little map and get 32 people on there and the action is just outstanding. And what's really cool is you can also take the 32 people on a very large map and the action is still there because the larger maps allow for vehicles and like better drones and stuff like that. So even though it's more spread out, there's a lot of action still to go around no matter where you are. So some things about moving, especially on the map that you're watching right here, is... Uh, Try to utilize the outside of the maps, like walls or the trailers that are there, like vehicles. And this one especially, you want to use the, the bridge to flank enemies, especially on the Alpha and Charlie side. And you see on here a couple times where I go up the side and go up around and I sneak in a few kills and get in behind them and get some easy kills that help me rack up some battle points as fast as possible. You also see on here that I move from like the bridge to a rock and then the rock to another rock. So I'm always behind something and try to keep my visibility as low as possible. Yeah, I mean, as far as them being able to see me. So that kind of covers the map movement. I'll get into that in more detail as we cover like different kinds of maps. Like this one, I said it's kind of wide open, but you can utilize the rocks and the bridge to your advantage to make sure you're not seen. But the other ones are going to offer a, a lot more cover. And I'll, I'll talk about how to move around those maps when it, on another video. So the next top I'm going to cover is you'll see me use two different assault rifles in this game. Uh, I start the game off with an ACR and I end up finishing the game with an M4 assault rifle. And at the beginning you see the, the ACR, one of the things that's my favorite about it is that the, the iron sights are really good and there's not a lot of kick to that gun like wherever you point your iron sights that's where you're gonna hit and you're gonna hit it multiple times so it's very effective taking out targets at a large distance uh, one of the weaknesses of it though is it doesn't do a lot of damage so I recommend aiming for the chest to head area and try to get that kill as fast as possible but it does fire pretty decently in a hip fire and with a silencer it's great for moving around the map and picking off people from far away and they don't even expect it so the m4 assault rifle one thing i don't care for about this gun is the iron sights on it i think they stick up too far and they block my vision 
But the thing about this gun is it does do extra damage. It will kill somebody faster than an ACR will normally. Which is pretty cool if you like to stay back and move slowly. Like stay crouched and pick people off. Or if you want to like sit in an objective. Which I do on here. I try to capture Charlie. And some people are coming in from the pushback of our first capture. And it's really good for picking them off at a distance. It does nice damage. And it's... It doesn't kick too much and it's pretty accurate so if you can get over the iron sights I would recommend this gun it's almost just as good as the ACR in my opinion so um, one thing I do see a lot of though using these kind of things is people putting red dots on them instead of silencers uh, get used to using iron sights on your all your guns just think about um, your gun already has a sight on it. You don't need to waste one of your gun perks on a, another sight. Go ahead and throw a silencer on there. Or even maybe an underbelly shotgun. Those are really fun in close quarters. And use that perk for something that's going to give you an advantage in a different situation. So get used to the iron sights. And I said when you're doing that, I do recommend the ACR iron sights over the M4 iron sights. So I just covered... Uh, what bacon bacon is and movement on this map and big maps and little maps in general and I just covered the ACR assault rifle versus the M4 assault rifle uh, the final topic for this video I'm going to be covering uh, my thoughts on vehicles in this game and uh, what to choose and when to choose it so we all know that home front has a battle point system that I greatly love I talked about that in my other video just a little bit I also plan on doing like a top five reward system in one of my videos talking about like kill streaks and battle points and which ones are my favorite. But with that being said, um, some of the most powerful things in this game are the tank and the helicopter. And one thing, some things you want to think about when you're deciding which one you want to get is like the tank you are able to get faster. Um, you get um, your bonus, your battle points, excuse me, back. A lot earlier than you would with a helicopter as well so what you do is you spend your points sooner and then you start earning points back sooner so it's really nice to pick up a tank and start working towards more points for something like if your tank gets blown up you already have a lot of points earned for whenever you end up leaving your tank um, the other cool thing about a tank that I don't think people think about all the time is that you can capture points while you're in your tank um, you can drive right up to Bravo, which is my favorite to capture in a tank because a lot of times that's the hardest to get. So you park a big tank in there and cover your teammates and capture Bravo in it. Um, that's something that you're not able to do in a helicopter. Um, I don't think, I'm not sure if you can even land a helicopter on the ground. I've never tried because it's very dangerous down there. But even if you can, you don't want to do that. So helicopters are only really good in the air. So the tank is great for getting kills and still being able to play the objective. Um, I also think that it's like more reliable uh, as far as killing people. You can drive right up into the spawn and like spin around and you've also got um, a gunner on top of your tank who's picking off kills for you at the same time. If you use the right loadouts, which I believe the faster turret and the fast reload are the best ones. Um, even with people trying to shoot you with rockets, you can normally pick them off before they hit you. A lot of times the only thing that can blow up my tank are Hellfire missiles. So those are my recommendations and I said it's very reliable kills. If you do decide to go for the helicopters, and one of the downfalls is it costs a lot more points. So what happens is you get the, the helicopter way later in the game and the game might end before you even get to use it for a long time. Uh, even in this video, you see I choose the helicopter, and it's a beast of an, a vehicle if you do get it. But it's harder to see the enemies, and you have to be pretty accurate with your missiles to get kills. But sometimes, like, you'll think you're going to hit something, and you, you miss and don't get that kill. And the guys are pretty difficult to see, because you're so high up in the air. And once you get a helicopter, you're like a prime target for your enemies. They... They want to shoot you down, they get drones firing at you, they got tanks firing at you, piranhas firing at you, like they want you down. So just another thing to think of, you don't want to get in there and get shot down right away 
or use it too late in the game and you end up not getting as many kills as you would have gotten in a tank. So, big thing about the helicopter, if you're not getting a lot of kills with it, you may not know how to use it properly. I think I try to show you how to do it very well in this video. Just kind of watch how I do my back and forth movement, put my, like do a sweeping area of missiles to cover a lot more area and try to take out the things that can take you out as soon as possible. Um, you do have anti-rocket like chaff flare for example but the cooldown is pretty long and a lot of people are going to shoot you so you're going to get shot down. So try to take that stuff out as fast as you possibly can. So um, that's all I'm going to say about those two vehicles right now. Um, hopefully I can cover some other vehicles and some more videos I have and actually just show some tank gameplay and emphasize the points I made on that. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I plan on making some more Macon Bacon on the smaller maps that will have uh, you so excited that you, you'll want to just keep watching more and more. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please check out my YouTube page if you haven't. Uh, I just redesigned it and let me know what you think. Uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And please check out the vidthrough.com YouTube page with uh, other team members from our team. They've got very good videos as well. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you soon. Bye.